Hello, welcome to Wiremock Cloud Academy. Today, we will look at various ways to match JSON request bodies. When stubbing API functions that accept JSON request bodies, we may want to return different responses based on the JSON body sent. Wiremock Cloud provides three match types to support this case. Equal to JSON, matches JSON path, and matching via JSON schema. We will demonstrate these three capabilities today. In our first example, we'll take a look at the equal to JSON body matcher. I have a post configured and it's set for equal to JSON. Wiremock Cloud will be looking for this exact request body to come in. We'll give it a test. And as we'd expect, we get a 201 created message with our result OK. Now, if we change our request body slightly so that the sizes are now in a different order, the result is a 404 not found. We can fix this quickly with Wiremock Cloud by coming back over to our stub and ticking the ignore array order. We'll save this and test this again. Notice our item ID and our sizes, large, medium, small. And now our result is 201 created, OK. Let's try another scenario. And let's add an extra element to our request. And we'll see again, we get a 404 not found. And our error message is showing that our body does not match. We have this extra tag element now. Again, we can use the ignore extra elements feature in Wiremock Cloud. And we'll try our request again. And now we have a 201 created with the result OK. Let's try another example here. This time we're going to specify a different item ID than what is configured in the body match. When I send this, again, we get a 404 not found because the item ID does not match the hard-coded item ID in the body matcher. We can fix this using JSON unit placeholders. If we look at our body matching now, we can see we still have ignore array order checked, ignore extra elements checked, but this time we've replaced the hard-coded item ID with a JSON unit ignore statement. Let's try this out. We're passing in an item ID of all eights. And in this case, we get our 201 created result OK. Our next example, will look at the matches JSON path body matcher. We have a post again to a thing endpoint. And this time we'll use the matches JSON path directive. And we'll specify a JSON path statement of dollar sign dot item name. And we'll ensure that that is equal to socks. We'll come into our test requester. We'll fill in our request body and we'll click send. 201 created, result OK. Let's try a slightly different request here. This time we'll have an item name of shoes instead of socks. When we hit send, we can see that we have a 404 not found and we're alerted that the dollar sign dot item name equal to socks is not matched because the request came in as shoes instead. In our last example, we'll take a look at matches JSON schema. Again, we have a post to the thing endpoint. We're going to use a body matcher of type matches JSON schema and provide a JSON schema document. We can test this in our test requester. In this case, we'll pass in a body of item name jacket and we'll hit send and we get a 201 created with a result OK. If we change our request slightly and instead try to send in an integer for the item name rather than a string, we'll get a 404 not found because the schema is not a match to that specified in the matcher. As always, we have helpful documentation available at docs.wiremock.io. And if you want to read more on JSON schema, you can find that at json-schema.org. As you've just seen, Wiremock Cloud's JSON request body matchers make it easy to ensure the correct response is returned 
based on the JSON body of the request. Try it yourself with a free forever account at wiremock.io.